Hey, welcome back. Uh, gonna depart just a little bit from the norm today. Got some free sample and uh, I'm gonna bring it to you right after this. All right, we've got Kings County Distillery here. Uh, this is their straight bourbon whiskey at 45% alcohol, so 90 on the proof. Uh, this is distilled by Kings County Distillery, Brooklyn, New York. I know they're in like the Navy Yard area of Brooklyn, New York. Uh, other than that, it just says in, uh, New York City's oldest uh, whiskey distillery aged three years or more. And their site says this is aged three to six years. Um, so we don't know uh, on that, but I do know that I, I, I'm trying to remember now, I believe it's 85% corn and the rest is malted barley. So there's a high malted barley count in this of 50%. Now, this is a New York law stuff and there, it's locally sourced grains and things like that. Now they do get their bar barley from overseas, but they, they do use 85% corn. And, and so it's gonna have that high corn count like other New York bourbons. Uh, Bright Lights Big Bourbon, they used to be Hudson Baby Bourbon. Well, it used to be 100% corn, now it's 95%. Uh, but this is, uh, I did get two of these, and the, the this is, if you go to their website and look, this is what their bottles look like. Uh, they're making it all about what's inside the bottle because this is, this is a hip flask looking plain bottle. Uh, kind of like that. You can see the color really well uh, in there. It's a good dark amber, medium. Um, so yeah, we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, I have two of these. Uh, this one I'm gonna do first. This is their uh, straight bourbon. Uh, and then the other one's a peated bourbon. Uh, but they do a lot of, from what I read, uh, they do a lot of uh, experimental stuff with their craft distillery. And this is their base stuff that they're, they're um, working with. So let's twist the top off this thing. It did have a plastic shrink wrap around it. And I did pull that off. So let's go ahead and pour us a little bit here. All right, this is about, uh, what is this, six ounces? Well, it's um, 200 milliliters, 200 milliliter. So, you know, it's not the big 750 bottle, but this is what, hey, beggars aren't choosers, right? I, they, you send me free whiskey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna review it. All right, so this is Kings County. Now, I, I did read a little something about this is really not the oldest craft distillery or something like that, that someone else had them beat, but I don't know, it's, it's all, you can read about all of that. I'm not gonna go off that. I'm gonna go with what's in this glass right here. And I'm telling you, this is a good dark, a medium to dark amber, wow. Um, good glassy edge on this. Uh, legs are starting to develop. It's not giving me the uh, sparklet runoff uh, that you get from less oilier bourbons. Uh, this is pretty, this is coating pretty darn good here, uh, developing very quickly. So let's get a nose on this thing. Now this is uh, organic uh, corn or something like that. Um, the nose is, hmm, it's creamy, darker nose, uh, not a big ethanol kick on it. Now it's 90 proof. Huh. I'm getting cocoa, a little hint of cinnamon in there, uh, and I could attribute that to maybe uh, more like an allspice. Definitely picking up a little cinnamon hit to it though. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's a high corn count, so but there's a butteriness to this, and I'm attributing that to the malted barley, the 15% on there. Yeah, I mean, it's a good dark nose. I'm getting some uh, a fruit, uh, a little a hint of, uh, uh, maybe even a little tropical type, uh, like, but dark roasted. Oh, wow. Uh, I mean, it's a pleasant nose. It's a pleasant uh, to look at in the glass. It's a good color, uh, great legs on it. So I'm excited to try it. Um, so let, let's get the tongue wet. Oh, we, wow. Okay, don't like to give a lot of notes on that first sip. Full disclosure, 
I, uh, it's been a, a few hours since I ate lunch. I did drink some water uh, before this to clear my palate, so I'm good to go. This is rich and dark and good. Um, yeah, there's a molasses -y note uh, coming out on the tongue, maybe some fig, maybe even dried plum, uh, maybe a pruny little uh, hint in there. I mean, it's all darker notes to this. Mm. But there is a butterscotch tone to it. I typically don't go for the high corn counts. This is really good. This is really, really good. Um, yeah, we'll get to that, that, that scale here shortly, but man, this thing is fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm getting cocoa. Now, the finish is not real long. I am getting some finish on it. But it's only 90 proof, so it's kind of dissipating. But wow, this, the mid palate is exploding uh, with, with this bourbon. Mm. Wow. Um, yeah, really, really good. I would highly suggest this uh, if you can get your hands on it. Um, I haven't checked their distribution. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, I know they, they, they have, they, it's a double pot stilled bourbon. Uh, I know uh, from what I read, they ordered a couple of big pot stills from Scotland uh, and they've been doing their bourbon there. I don't know the char on the barrel. Uh, all I know is it's, uh, uh, you know, three to six year age uh, on their website. Mm. Wow, this is fantastic. Uh, I, I am getting a little of that twang I get off the high corn but this mellows out so well that I'm not getting that, that off-putting twang I, I get. And it's not bad. I, I'm just saying there's a little note in, in the 95 corn on the Bright Lights Big Bourbon that it's kind of off-putting to me, but uh, it's not horrible. And, but it's a, it's a decent bourbon, too. This puts that to shame. This is awesome. Um, I mean, I would like to try... Trying this, I would like to try like a barrel proof uh, version of it or, or something like that because this is uh, really good and I think this would be a, probably another really good cigar bourbon if we did that. So let's get to swiping the little arrow back and forth here. And we are going to, I mean, and this may surprise you for a 90 proof, but I'm gonna go mid yes on this. I mean, we're tipping up to heck yeah. Uh, we're, you know, we're getting on up there for a 90 proof if this were barrel strength I, and it's, it held these notes, I would put it into the heck yeah. That, that's how good this is. But I'm gonna stop mid yes because of the proof, but for the age on this, it is so smooth. Now, I may have gotten a bottle, I know they say three to six years, this could be five or, or four and a half or whatever, I don't know. But for a younger bourbon with a lower proof, this is fantastic, guys. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up as always. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell down there for notifications, and I promise I'll keep bringing you these videos.